norms, regardless of criminality, and to ensure the maintenance of state and class power. This includes protests, performance art, and other free speech and political actions that criticize the current political discourse. Social control thrives on mistrust, the extreme extension of the definition of criminality, and unnecessary police intervention. Bob Buckhorn has proven that his vision of a safe Tampa is a heavily policed Tampa. His, brutally efficient, his brutal efficiency statement invokes Nazi totalitarianism, and the cameras we further side and with the cameras, we further side with Tampa's paramilitary organization over the citizenry. I agree that the police are an important part of society, but their positions do not warrant special privilege or the violation of our privacy. The $50 million spent during the RNC turned Tampa, turned Tampa into a full-scale functional model of Iraq under U.S. occupation. That we should further wear this insult by making, <coughs> making permanent the cameras that were unnecessary in the first place is disgusting. Protesting with Occupy, police officers stated that they would be having fu a lot of fun with the weapons purchased by the Department of Homeland Security to beat, gas, and shoot protesters with rubber bullets. The police culture in America is sick. The individual in that culture takes on the sick qualities of that culture, else be rejected by it, and be denied their chosen career. This is not the fault of the police officer as an individual, but it is the fault of the culture that produces them. We also must note that the performance of the RNC is no testament to the performance because anyone can function per perfectly in a situation where nothing happens. So if asked if I think law enforcement and that culture can have cameras and protect my civil liberties, I say no. If I think that Tampa's government can make a decision based on people's needs over the needs of the police, right now I can say no. If I believe cameras will reduce crime and not just relocate it, I say no. The more I see the approach, of, the approach to freedom in this country makes me think that the state is only allowing us to have it unless it, instead of it being an inalienable right. As Ben Franklin does say, that <clears throat> those who would give up essential liberty to pr produce a little temporary security deserve neither liberty nor safety, then I say get off my liberty so that I may again be safe. Thank you.